Hello, my name is Adriana Teodoro Dyer and I am a tarot-based life consultant. I've got a message for fire signs today, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Okay, <laughs> okay, fiery people. So, we start, I'm putting these two cards together because they go together. We start with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. All right, as usual, fire signs, you've got yourself overextended. You're just doing too much. For some of you, this may be related to all the stuff with being a mom or with being a feminine energy. Um, either way, she's someone who takes care of other people ahead of herself. And that's also what's going on here. You've taken on so much that you are not taking care of yourself and you are just feeling so overwhelmed. Um, the good news is that you don't really have to do anything about this because it's going to change. We've got the Wheel of Fortune next. This is a very lucky card. It means that your fate is going to change and these things are going to lessen for you. Okay, so that's kind of a nice message. Yeah, okay, it's too much right now, but something's going to change to lighten your load. What you have to be willing to do, though, we get the Hanged Man next. You need to be willing to surrender to this change. Sometimes it's hard for us fire signs to give up all of our projects because we want to do so much. There's so much we have to give and there's so much we have to express. And it's just really hard for us to cut back because we want to do everything. We're so excited and enthusiastic about it. But this one here, our Queen of Pentacles, she's also asking for self-nurturing. And if you're willing to do that, the universe is willing to help you but you've got to be open to it. <laughs> so, you know, things may change for you. They may show you, oh, here, here's how you can line up your situation. But if you're not really willing to surrender to it, universe goes, oh, well, okay, free will, off she goes, still going to be overwhelmed and, and overburdened. So you have a chance to change this just by being open to doing less, but that may feel a little bit difficult because, again, fire signs want to do everything. Take some time to self-reflect and ask yourself if that's really necessary. And Can you still love yourself even if you're not a million things for a million people? If the answer is yes, just kind of kick back and relax and understand that you're going to have to sit on your hands a little bit for this change to work. But at the end of it, you're going to feel so much more balanced and in control and you're going to have so much more passion because you're not going to be so burnt out. I hope this message was helpful to you. Please subscribe to my channel to get these every week. If you are curious or interested in a personal reading, please reach out below either in the contacts or my contact information, comments, not contacts, in the comments. If you want to contact me, that info is there for you too. Hope you have a great week and ease off. <laughs> It'll be okay.